Nanani, Buju, Bumatan. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to St. John the Baptist Church in St. John, North Dakota, the city at the end of the rainbow. Please join me today on this Good Friday as we walk the Via de la Rosa. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I want my beloved Redeemer to die for love of you. By Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself. With all my heart, I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword had passed. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father in our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you by all you suffered in carrying your cross to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, how sad and so distressed was that Mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus, loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns, had so weakened him that he could hardly walk, and yet he had to carry the great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My beloved Jesus, 
It was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins, which made you suffer so much. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, O my Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pains of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your prayers a tender and lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent of ever having offended you. Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fifth station, Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was at each step. He was at the point of expiring, fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the infamous death of the cross. They forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I accept and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me, with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death, and I offer it to you. You have died for love of me, I will die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station, Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the compassion of the holy woman Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, but now it no longer appears beautiful and is disfigured with, disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism. I have since then disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me, and how many times I have fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all my temptations I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the women wept with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, Weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the sins which I have committed against you because of the punishment I deserve for them and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you, who have loved me with an infinite love. It is your love more than the fear of hell which makes me weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself. I am sorry that I have offended you. 
Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sweet Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ fell for the third time. He was extremely weak, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. My outrage, Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your Savior so cruelly treated, and tell him, My innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help me to strip myself of all attachment for the things of earth, that I may, re that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, O Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified, 
the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet, and then raising the cross, left him to die in anguish. My despised Jesus, nail my heart to the cross, that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering, and abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of me. I deserve, because of my sins, to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love of you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me, all the days that I may live. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. O mother of sorrows, for the love of your Son, accept me as your servant, and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, allow me to love you, for I desire only you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray, is all I ask of you to give. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to his burial, while his holy mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. Then they closed the tomb and all departed. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in, but you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and to love you forever. I love you, Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief divine. Our prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. My good and dear Jesus, I kneel before you asking you most earnestly to engrave upon my heart a deep and lively faith, hope, and charity with true repentance for my sins and a firm resolve to make amends as I reflect upon your five wounds and dwell upon them with deep compassion and grief. I recall, good Jesus, the words the prophet David spoke long ago concerning yourself. They have pierced my hands and my feet that have numbered all of my bones. I invite you to join me now in the formal prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. Archbishop Vigano has asked that tomorrow, in union with Rome, three o'clock their time, that this prayer be prayed throughout the world to bring an end to the attack of Satan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Most glorious Prince of the Heavenly Armies, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in our battle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high places. Come to the assistance of men whom God has created to his likeness and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. Holy Church venerates thee as her garden and protector. To thee the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray, therefore, the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the church. Offer our prayers to the Most High, that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Bind him and cast him into the bottomless pit, so that he may no longer seduce the nations. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, strengthened by the intercession, Michael the Archangel, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, and powerful in the holy authority of my priestly ministry, 
we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Behold the cross of the Lord, flee bands of enemies. He has conquered the lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David. May thy mercy, Lord, descend upon us as great as our hope in thee. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects. In the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, do may you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect, and sip them as wheat. The Most High God commands you. He with whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal, he who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you. God the Son commands you. God the Holy Ghost commands you. Christ God's word made flesh commands you. He who to save our race outdone through your envy humbled himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her because he will dwell with her all days even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you as does the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious mother of God, Virgin Mary commands you. She who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles, Peter and Paul and the other apostles command you. The blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus cursed dragon and you diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive, this name which causes hell to tremble, this name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with thee and with my spirit. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work, because there is no other God than thee, and there can be no other. For thou art the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before thy glorious majesty, and we beseech thee to deliver us by thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. Deign, O Lord, to grant us thy powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord that thy church may serve thee in peace and liberty, we beseech thee to hear us, that they may crush down all enemies of thy church, we beseech thee to hear us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Midwich, thank you. We'll see you again at 3 o'clock for the Passion.